When it comes to the issues that I deal with on a daily basis, they are embarrassing situations, they're embarrassing conditions, they're embarrassing diseases that unfortunately people don't want to talk about. But it's incredibly common. So if you're 50 years old and you walk into a room with women your own age, out of those 10 women in the room, four of them are going to have an overactive bladder. Similarly, three are going to have stress urinary incontinence, the laughing, coughing, and sneezing. That overactive bladder is only going to increase with age. And by the age of 70 to 80, you're looking at 60 to 70% of women having this disease. And it is a disease. It is something that we can treat and is something that we have excellent therapies for that we deal with on a daily basis. The American Neurologic Association has created a care pathway. It consists of first, second, and third line therapies. Third line therapies are the most advanced. Uh, they involve things like percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation, which is really a fancy acupuncture that stimulates a nerve that runs up your leg. Done in the office, no sedation, there really is no risk associated with it. There's also something called sacral neuromodulation, which is also known as Interstim under the trademark of Medtronic. And what that is, is a little pacemaker for the bladder. It has a small lead that goes in and stimulates this nerve that's spasming, causing the bladder to spasm. Light sedation in the operating room. The other option is something called Botox. Just like Botox relaxes all those Hollywood stars' faces, it relaxes the bladder and is something that's done in the office under just topical anesthetic or light sedation in the operating room. Now, most patients do not need to go on to these advanced therapies. 70% of them are treated with first and second line therapies. Second line therapies are medications, easy to take, one to two pill a day. The majority of them don't interact with any of the other medications that you're taking. First line therapies are things like watching what you drink, when you drink, how you drink, as well as pelvic floor physical therapy which have no risks associated with it.